The demand for various sports experiences and the number of sports clubs are growing as never before. With this in mind, creating a sports club directory website seems like a profitable business idea. A sports club directory is an online platform that collects information about different sports clubs, making it easier for people to find and connect with the ones that match their interests, budget, and location. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create it easily using WordPress. We'll be using ListingHive, a free modern directory WordPress theme, paired with HiPress, a free multipurpose directory plugin, which proved to be an effective solution for creating robust directories. Let's get started. The first step is to install the theme and all the necessary plugins. To install ListingHive, visit the Appearance, Themes, Add New Theme page, then use the search box to find it and proceed by installing and activating the theme. After the ListingHive installation, you'll get a suggestion to install HivePress, a plugin that will power most of the website's features. Simply click on the recommended link and install it. Good, now we have the theme and the core plugin in place. However, the default features may not be enough to build a robust directory website, so let's extend the core functionality a bit. There are more than 15 HivePress extensions that are fully compatible with each other, and you can find them in the HivePress extensions section. For example, I'll install geolocation to add location-based search, messages to allow users to communicate with each other, opening hours to show clubs operating hours, and favorites, and reviews to let users mark favorite listings and write reviews. To install an extension, click on the Install button, then proceed to activate the extension. Similarly, I'll install other extensions behind the scenes to save you time. OK, once we're done with extensions, it's essential to properly set up your directory, so before jumping into the creation process, we'll go through some settings in the High Press Settings section. For instance, in the Listings tab, there's an important listing submission option, which depends on your niche and business model. If you wish to be the only person responsible for adding listings to your website, uncheck this option. However, if your website follows a different model and you want other users to add listings while you only moderate them, keep this option checked. We will discuss this later when I explain how to monetize your site. Once you've reviewed all the settings in the Listings tab, you can go to the Users tab. Here, we recommend enabling email verification to ensure all registered users are real. Now, if you installed the geolocation extension, it must also be configured. In the geolocation tab, you can choose between Google Maps and Mapbox as your map providers, but we recommend selecting Mapbox because it's easier to set up. In the video description, you can find step-by-step -step instructions showing how to set it up. We have shown you only a few sections necessary for this tutorial's demo site, but when it comes to building your own one, we recommend going through all settings in detail. Moreover, keep in mind that with the addition of new extensions, the number of settings also increases. The next step is to divide your directory into different sports club categories to make your site easier to navigate. There are no pre-made categories in ListingHive, so you can feel free to create as many custom ones as you need to. To do it, go to Listings, Categories. Here, you can name your category, provide a description, and upload a category image. Additionally, if necessary, you can create a hierarchy by setting a parent category. Click Add Category to finish. Following these steps, you can add as many listing categories as needed. I'll add a few more behind the scenes to have more sample content on this website. Okay, after adding listing categories, it's necessary to add custom listing fields and search filters to enhance the user experience and provide detailed information about each sports club listed in the directory. Let's go to Listings, Attributes, Add New, and try to create an essential field such as Basic Membership Cost as an example. Firstly, you need to write the field's name. In the Editing section, you can define whether your field can be edited via the front end by marking it as editable and whether it will be required to fill. Also, here, you can select the field type, for this field, we'll choose the number type. In the Search section, you can turn your field into a search filter. We'll mark our field as filterable and sortable to allow site visitors to filter and sort listings by price. We'll also use the number range search field type to allow filtering results by price range. In the last section, you define how your custom field will appear on listing pages. For instance, we'll assign it to block, primary, and page, primary, and use this display format. 
When finished, press publish. Remember that with High Press, you can create an unlimited number of custom listing fields and search filters. Now it's time to design a home page for your sports club's directory. To create a new page, go to Pages, add new page, and type in its name. Then, write some welcome text and start adding different blocks, such as listing search form and listing categories. You can type HivePress in the search bar to see all available HivePress blocks. Also, you can customize blocks in the settings column to the right. When finished, press publish. In the same way, you can create other pages, like blog, about us, contact, and so on. Now we need to set the newly created page as the home page. Go to Settings, Reading, and pick this page from the list, then save the changes. Also, you need to assign the blog page here after you create it. Let's check what we've created by going to Dashboard and visiting the site. Technically, everything is in place, but we still need to improve the appearance. To do this, click on the Customize button. First, we'll set a header image. Click Header Image, Add New, and upload your image. When finished, click Publish. Looks good, but let's go through other settings to improve the site's design even more. In the site identity, you can set the website logo, let's upload one. Here you can also edit the site's title and tagline, copyright notice, and set the site's icon. In the colors section, you can adjust primary and secondary colors to your liking. In the menu section, you can customize menus within the available website areas, like adding a blog page to the header or an about us page to the footer. Let's add the blog page to the header as an example. Firstly, you need to create a blog page and set it up as a posts page, similar to what we did with the home page. Here, click Create New Menu, name it, and assign it to header. Then, click Add Items, Pages, and select your blog page. Finally, press Publish. That's it. Now users will be able to read your blog. Let's move on. The Widgets section allows you to add custom widgets to the available site areas. This step is optional, and you should only add widgets when you want to show some additional content on your website. In the Home Page settings, you can set your Home Page and Posts page. Next, you can select your favorite fonts in the Fonts section. There are plenty of Google fonts here, so you should find the ones that suit you most. Finally, here's an additional CSS section where you can keep custom code snippets to adjust the website style. We have a collection of PHP and CSS snippets for high press. The link is in the description. Now, we'll look at the home page again. Well, now it looks better for sure. Finally, let's discuss possible monetization options. For this purpose, I installed two extensions, paid listings and claim listings. Also, you'll need to install WooCommerce, the most popular e-commerce plugin, to make payments possible. You can find it in the Plugins, Add New section. So, let's cover each monetization method separately. The first one requires the Paid Listings extension. If you allow front-end listing submission, one of the most common ways is to charge users for adding listings and making them featured. To achieve this, you need to create different listing packages for users to choose from. Let's see how it works. Firstly, go to WooCommerce Products, Add New, name your package something like Premium, mark it as Virtual, set a price, and publish it. Then go to Listings, Packages, Add New, and create two packages, the free one and the premium one. The premium package must be linked to the WooCommerce product. Now, when users want to add a new listing, 
they will be given a package choice. Let's see how it works and try to add the very first sports club listing. You, as an admin, can do it from the back end by going to listings, add new, or via the front end if the front end listing submission is enabled. Let's do it from the front end. First, provide the club's name and assign it to the corresponding category. Also, you need to upload the listing images. After this, you need to fill in all the previously created custom fields and add the description in order to provide users with comprehensive information about the club. Here is also where the opening hours extension comes into play. When everything's ready, hit Submit Listing. Look, the newly created listing packages are already working. Here are the free and premium ones. If we choose premium, we are redirected to checkout. And that's how the first monetization option works. After your approval in dashboard, the listing will be visible on the site. Let's check it. As we see, all essential info is in place. Now, if you're the only person who adds listings, then the second monetization model is just for you. You, as an admin, add sports club listings and all the information about them. Then, with the claim listings extension, you can charge sports club owners for claiming listings, which grants them access to editing and replying to user reviews and messages. It's a win-win monetization model because business owners will be able to manage their listings directly and communicate with customers, while you will always have up-to-date information on your website. Go to WooCommerce Products, add new, name the product, mark it as virtual, type in the price, and publish. Then, go to HivePress, Settings, Claims, and select this WooCommerce product. Now, users will be able to claim listings. Let's imagine that we're the club's owner and try to claim a listing. To do this, I'll visit the listing from another account and press claim listing to submit the claim. After the claim is submitted, the admin can see it in the listings, claim section of the dashboard. If the claim is approved, the user gets set as a listing vendor and receives access to edit it. And that's how the second monetization option works. Congrats! Now you know how to make your own sports club directory. We hope this video was helpful and that the tips provided will assist you in launching your site. Remember that it is now easier than ever to create a directory website with WordPress using the Listing Hive theme and the Hivepress plugin, both of which are free and user-friendly.